What's the deal? What's the deal? What's the deal, y'all? Rich Trapper tapping in TNN Trap News Network. We back with another reaction video. For those of y'all who don't like it, go ahead and fast forward two or three minutes. I don't know if you don't want to see the intro. If you don't want to see it, that's on you. But I'm going to keep doing it. So don't tell me nothing about it in my comments unless you admit the fact that your mom is a whore. And if your mom is a whore, drop a comment about my long intro. I don't care. But you know who else likes my, my long intro? Yo, baby mama, she love my long intro. So with that being said, make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Hit that subscribe button. Become a part of this rich Trapper Mafia, hit that notification bell at the top. Say tapped in for the latest and the greatest. What's going on at this point? I don't even know if I'm pointing at the bell, but I know it's somewhere up there. Um, find me on Instagram, Trap News Network, T R A P N E W S N E T W O R X. That's Trap News Network. And find me on all streaming platforms, Rich Trapper, Game Six. Rich Trapper, I'm better off without you. Rich Trapper, worth more than money. Y'all see my kids, got they. You know, paintings up and all that kind of stuff in my office and all that kind of shit. Yeah, and you see the books is getting filled. I'm buying more books for my kids. For those of y'all who've been watching, y'all know little by little I've been buying more and more books for my kids. So the bookshelf is getting filled up. That's dope. We never gonna fill the wine rack up because I don't be drinking like that. But I smoke a gang of weed and my kids read a lot of books. Um, find me on Instagram. I'm sorry, all streaming platforms. Rich Trapper, Game Six. Rich Trapper, I'm better off without you. Rich Trapper, A Nightmare Before Christmas. Uh, my two singles, A Nightmare Before Christmas, Start From Scratch, are both out now. I think I said that already, but if I didn't, whatever. I'm excited to get into this content because I've been waiting to watch this. Um, before we get into that, though, best comment of the month, get 50 bucks. I'm kind of speeding through it real quick. Best comment of the month, get 50 bucks. I'm going to pin all the good comments. And at the end of the month, we're going to grab uh, a $50 winner. I, we have one that might be a good $50 winner. I ain't going to lie because bro was simple. It was funny. It was to the point. It was my kind of asshole comedy. So I'm, I might go with that one, but we're going to see. We still got uh, it's the, the 4th of January, so we got more time. So, you know, that's that. But without no further ado or dumps, man, I really want to get into this one. We got Nothing to Something podcast. Shout out to them. We got Cowboy on the reason why Brick Baby never chose to take a fade with Black Sam and the issue that he had with Sam. We have been trying to get into this one ever since Comic-Con when, um, you know... My bad. Uh, since the issue, since uh, Comic-Con, or not Comic-Con, Complex-Con with him and Black Sam where they might have... You know, exchange some words, you feel me? But we ain't finna hold y'all no longer. Without no further ado, Zora Don'ts, man. Three, two, one, let's go. Which led to the next biggest viral moment on this uh, show and everything like that, which came from, you know, you had people talking about it in um, uh, another big podcast. And I'm gonna say it because it's a part of our story. But... No Jumper started talking about the interview and um, they brought on an individual that in the past had, you know, uh, uh, the short past had issues with you, you know, Brick Baby and everything like that. And he had some negative things to say. And that kind of started a, a big moment between two podcasts. Well, I'm not going to call it beef. It was a moment. All right. Um, and we never saw two podcasts have a moment. We've seen individuals on social media, but... <laughs> It caught, I believe it caught no jumper off guard because it was podcast going back and forth with podcasts, you know? Uh, and, and look, we don't have the numbers that they have, but we was holding our own, uh, you know what I'm saying? And everything like that. But um, that was a viral month when it came down. Going into 2024, let's stop minimizing ourselves. When we got something cracking, we might not have the numbers, but ain't no, we ain't got it. We still toe to toe with them and that's it. We ain't minimizing nothing. We ain't downplaying nothing. We ain't making nothing. Now we got big, small, no more. So let's eliminate that kind of thinking. We might not have the numbers we have, but we went toe to toe. Eliminate that. We ain't have. Well, we ain't got no matter. We went toe to toe. If they had two feet and two legs and two arms and all we had was one foot and two arms, so what? We stood toe to toe. Yeah, you know, blah blah blah. It don't matter what the disadvantage is. You stood toe to toe is all that matters because when you acknowledge a disadvantage, you say, "Well, our numbers are smaller," but blah blah blah. You're acknowledging that you're smaller. Now nah, you big. Everything is monumental in 2024. That's it and that's all. We only going big. Rich Trapper Mafia. We ain't small no more. We big. We got the numbers. It don't matter. <laughs> that getting talked about you know that whole situation so what do you what, what are your thoughts from that whole moment of that first little start of nothing to some podcast going back and forth with no jumper you know and that's when they first brought on brick baby and everything like that oh, i mean even when they brought them marks on there you know uh number one <laughs> number one uh uh like you said they might add the more numbers but number one they didn't want to take no fades no nah. they, they turned them down okay they that's true. Brick Baby has yet to take a fan with Cowboy, and Cowboy stay calling him out for the squabbly wobbly. They're not buddy-wuddies. They're not buddy-wuddies. 
You feel me? So I figured Adam would take a favor for any of the rest of my wings. <laughs> you know what I mean? But uh, uh, yeah, like I said, you know, uh, I used to have a little respect for uh, for Adam. You know what I mean? Uh, uh, for a minute, used to go in on a nigga, and I and I just kind of played the neutral. You know what I mean? Uh, tapped into a couple of his bullshit interviews once he got uh, stupid cuz over there. Yeah. Uh, oh, Charles, let's get back to it. Three, two, one, let's go. Then he started getting into the politics, then uh, I started disliking him. You know what I mean? Uh, uh, if you want to be a part of this shit, well, you'll be a part of it. You want to be a part of the hood politicking, you want to take fades and shit like that, uh, for sure. We got that for you. You know what I mean? It's just. Uh, you know, you've been hanging around these busters and you uh and and you tough around them, you know what I mean? You know what I mean? So uh them busters that you're around gonna get you in a wreck, you know what I mean? Uh uh we ended off the year with I would assume the buster that he's talking about is snitch honey. Wax snitch break, honey. Baby getting chased up out of somewhere though. When you ran you around gonna get you in a wreck, you know what I mean? Uh uh we ended off the year with Brick baby getting chased up out of somewhere though. He ran into Black Sam, so it ain't mm -hmm. cool. It ain't cool. Lucky he didn't get his brake stomped off of him. You know, uh, uh, thinking Conrad was gonna save you, but uh, <laughs> uh, yeah, it been a good year though. You know what I mean? Uh, just putting these weenies in their place though. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And that's where I stand on these niggas is weenies. They busted, nigga. If you if you represent the nigga that that killed them, fuck you, nigga, nigga. Let's get down. Still, I still ain't changed on that. You know what I mean? I just, I just. It's just so many times you can tell a buster to take a fade that, you know. I'm and that's real, though. Like, if, uh, Cowboy has a very precise reasoning for having so much hatred towards Brick Baby. So you can't say you don't understand him. Tired of talking about it. You know what I mean? Let's move. I'm I'm, I'm, I'm a moving forward type person. I ain't going to keep egging on a buster. Yeah. You know what I mean? I told all them busters, let's take a fade wherever they want to take it at. You know, uh for for money for 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 charity for uh, i even told him we could play pinochle poker dumb wrestling arm wrestling <laughs> basketball it, you know i can beat you he's that confident in his ability to whoop on break baby that he's making it a joke out of thumb wrestling he's at whatever you know what i mean it, it, it doesn't matter you yeah, know what yeah, I mean? yeah so uh if you're talking you could at least sat across the table from me yeah yeah you know what i mean you know all the talking y'all should have pulled up say you know what uh, we're gonna pull up and we want to chop it up you know they got bodyguards and all that uh, uh weird shit so yeah. you really had something to get off your chest you know you could have pulled up or you could have uh, gave us the invite yeah, yeah you know what i mean gave us the invite we'd have pulled up you know over there you know yeah, what i mean yeah. if you really want to talk about it you know uh <clears throat> i just ain't in there really sending signals over to uh, Twitter or whatever, you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah. Like I said, if you really serious about it, we can go box, you know, it ain't about, uh, it ain't about stomping nobody out or hurting nobody, it's about just quit talking or just line it up, you yeah, know what yeah. I mean? Like I said, I ain't the toughest guy on earth, I ain't saying I can beat everybody up, but I'm willing to, uh, I'm ready to uh, squabble up for what I feel is right, you yeah, know what yeah. I mean? If I feel disrespected, you yeah. know what I mean? Other than that, I'm And that's really what it come down to a lot of times, man. It ain't about feeling like you the toughest or feeling like, you so much better than anybody. I'm such a bigger physical specimen than you or anything like that. Now I feel disrespected. So whether I win or whether I lose, I want to punch you in your face. And that's, that's the decision that I'm standing on as a man. Now, as men, should we be able to use our words and be able to communicate and, and fight and be in a last resort? Definitely. Putting your hands on somebody should always be a last resort. But if by chance you make it and, not only, and the only resort is your last, yeah, man, you want to bow. And then that's that. You feel me? And, and that's just the decision that we stand on as men. You feel me? And, and that's just that. But if the other person is such, such an antagonist and all they want to do is jaw jack, jaw jack, jaw jack, then it says a lot about the antagonist because they really indeed are doing this out of, an inferior, out, of, out of an inferiority complex to make themselves feel better about what they do or don't have in life. Coolest person on earth. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. I ain't tripping. That's you a know, fact. Yeah. Most niggas that know how to fight and really get out, we, we, we ain't tripping on... on we ain't no bullies. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? We ain't no bullies. Just uh, if, if you if you disrespect me, then just be, be prepared to to knuckle up. That's yeah. all. Yeah, yeah. And you know, one thing I want to say before we move along, what people don't even probably like know or understand is that even myself, you just mentioned it myself. Like, I I I, I love what Adam was doing. Like, I never had no issues with no jumper. No, no. jumper was one of the podcasts that I looked up to. When it come down to like getting into the industry, now I was on a totally different path with what I was doing, but I like the 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 business uh, uh uh model. 
of what yeah. he was building, you know, with the different shows and uh, the dip, you know, the episodes yeah. and the way he was doing it. I, I looked at that. I was like, okay, you know, I could take some tips from what they doing over there. Now, my what I'm talking about is different, but I could take some tips from his business model of the way he's building it. But you wasn't gonna little man a nigga though. That's all I was saying. You know what I'm saying? Like you over here talking about our interviews, talking about you gonna recreate the interviews we doing. Brain Cowboy over there and do the same type of interviews we're doing without shouting out the podcast that was doing it. Nigga, you ain't gonna do that. That's the game, big dog. You feel me? Because like I said, man, for those of y'all who know about the 85 South show, I've been doing trap news for, for, some, for some episodes now. You feel me? We over 300 episodes in via Instagram, via YouTube. We all over this motherfucker doing this thing. You feel me? And then here you got, you know, the people at the 85 South show. And this ain't nothing even towards directly Carlos Miller, DC Young Fly, or Chico Bean because it's not even actually them. It's just uh, the people underneath them who are putting these shows together. And, um, yeah, man, I, I, I almost feel like I could be wrong, but I had a person on my show that hangs out with that crew very tough. And I almost feel like bro took my idea over there after being on my show three times. But it happens, big dog. All you can do is keep pushing and keep grinding. You know what I'm saying? Like my man Danny Digital told me, like, you got to just keep put your head down and keep grinding and keep focusing, bro, because that's what's going to happen with this industry. You got to just continue to do you better than anybody else. Yeah, I, I didn't see what he did with other individuals and podcasts by you know trying to little man them and, yeah. and bring those things to no jumper you know what i'm saying and, and blow it up yeah. i just wasn't gonna let that happen you know what yeah. i'm saying just to hey and just god 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 willing you know uh you was here you yeah. and everything like that and, and, and he brought i don't know how that happened yeah. brought brick baby over there and it just made it a bigger situation yeah, yeah. you get what i'm saying yeah, yeah. it wouldn't have been as big if you wasn't sitting right here and everything like that but it was just like it was meant for i don't know you know, it just happened that way, you know, because I would have said something about it regardless, but it went viral because, let's be real, Cowboy was here too, and you got Brick Baby over there. Yeah. So, you know, yeah. and, and Adam didn't like it. <laughs> I'm still waiting on the fade, though. You yeah. know, yeah, yeah. The, the fade is still on the... Brother, you're going to be waiting on that fade for the rest of your life because that man is not going to fight you, Big Doug. It's not going to happen. Table at any time, so, you know, you go yeah, take yeah. some typo classes, go get in training and do what That's you got to do. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This motherfucker numb now, nigga. I swear, when I slap a nigga this time, nigga, that shit gone. I'ma slap the brakes off a nigga. Yeah. <laughs> Cause I ain't got no feeling in these figures, nigga. I yeah, slap yeah, a nigga. Yeah. It's gonna be a wrap. Yeah, yeah. But like I said, we on a whole nother page. When I definitely, see, that's a fact. I could have danced to telling a grown man to take some Tybo classes is very disrespectful. We gonna keep going around and say, you know what? Let me just run around and grab the bag and keep telling the story, telling the story. Yeah. You know, when I got here, you pray, we uh, put God first, and you said. This is what we're going to be about. We're not going to be like the rest of them. So yeah. that's why I said, I'll make this home. It wasn't like, you know what I mean? If I was in it for the money, yeah, I'd still be dancing around. Just, yeah, you know, yeah. let me go over here. Let me go to Vlad. Let me bounce here. Let me bounce there, you know? Mm -hmm. So i just jump around, you know what I mean? But once I got a home, it was just about the message for me. You yeah. know what I mean? We can build this and, and, and go from there, you know? Uh, it was never I was never in it for the likes, you know. Yeah. I don't need a million fake likes, you know. Uh here's I'm promoting a book. I got like sixty thousand followers, you know. Yeah. Uh, am I gonna get a thousand people to come fuck with me? Two thousand, you know what I mean? Out of sixty thousand. I rather yeah. I rather get rid of my little sixty thousand people and just narrow it down to two thousand that really fuck with me. Or Straight thousand, lawyer. Or just that yeah. five hundred people yeah. if I put out See, and I and I agree with what Cowboy's saying, but that goes back to what I'm saying. We're gonna stop making ourselves small. No, all 6,000 gonna bring somebody, so we gonna have 12,000. Matter of fact, all 6,000 gonna bring two people, you feel me? And then we gonna have 18,000. That's how we gonna do this, you feel me? We gonna run it like that and blah, blah, blah. That's how we gonna continue to grow these brands and grow these ideas. No more small thinking, no more minimize, no more minimalizing what we have going on. No more putting ourselves in the ceiling. Man, sky is the limit, bro. Sky is the limit product that 500 fucking with me yeah yeah you know what i mean i'm good i need 500 that's fucking with me yeah you know what i mean not just 500 that's just following me because i'm trending yeah, yeah you know what i mean somebody i need 500 that's what they're gonna support you know what i mean i need 500 that got something else going on so i can support so we can network you know i've been looking for a t-shirt manufacturer somebody yeah. black that can cut and sew i've been putting it out there putting it out there so i want to keep every part of my business in-house so for my t-shirts down to my DTFs, my printing, my embroidery, everything that we do, like for my book, down to the staple. Yeah. Somebody black touched that motherfucker. Yeah. Down to the printing, down to whatever needs to be done. You know what I mean? So, yeah, that's just what I'm on. You yeah. know what I mean? When you own, when you own to something, you're on another page. You really ain't got time. Like, 2024 was the time to 
it was a closure. I mean, 2023 was a closure because, like I said, from 19 from that past to 2023. Yeah. You know, so it was closure. Five years. That was a long chapter. You know yeah. what I mean? So we finally got closure on that. Then it's like, you know, I was working with Nip. Then here it is. The next day he gone. Yeah. You feel me? My life for the last few years revolved around everything bro was doing. From shows, the posters, to whatever was going on. Yeah. You know what I mean? So now, boom, life changes. Life as I know it was over. Now I got thrown in the spotlight. Now I got, now it's like, what, what is Cowboy going to do? You know, yeah. I stood down there for three years just looking at the walls and cleaning up and and just maintaining the property and just gazing up like damn so it was like all right i mourned them for three years going on four years before i said let me pick it up and i start podcasting yeah. it was three years i hadn't did a podcast yeah, yeah you know what i mean so i didn't start podcasting until like the fourth year yeah, you know yeah. what i mean so uh this was new to me you know what i mean like so i had to regroup and regroup my whole life you know what I mean? My whole, everything had changed. My routine was get up, go sweep the parking lot, see Nep go down Slauson, chunk up the hood, he'll come back, <laughs> here, drink this tea. I don't want this tea. I was smoking cigarettes and shit. You yeah. know what I mean? Uh, uh, he'd give me a book or something to read, uh, whatever, routine. Okay, what's the play for the day? I'm either, I was built. I think that we're going to go ahead and let that die right there. I feel like he's off the topic of break, baby. But with that all being said, man, Cowboy had a lot of great words for us, a lot of great insight, more so than anything. I'm going to say the whole situation with Brick, baby, I ain't going to say let it die because I can't tell grown men what to do with grown men business, but you chasing a white whale, big dog. You ain't going to ever catch it because he don't really want that kind of physical altercation with you. But y'all let me know what y'all think in the comments. If you think otherwise, please let me know in the comments. In the meantime, in between time, hit that subscribe button. Become a part of this rich trapper mafia. Become a part of this rich trapper mafia. Hit that notification bell at the top. Hit all so you say tap in for the latest and the greatest of what we got going on. And remember... Best comment, get 50 bucks. Find me on all streaming platforms. Rich Trapper, Game 6. Rich Trapper, worth more than money. Rich Trapper, I'm better off without you. And my two new singles, Start From Scratch and The Nightmare Before Christmas, are both out now. So make sure you go tap in with them. And uh, yeah, man, free Avenue Angel until he's free. And we go.